do this one algebraically and see how this one will change. So again, hopefully you guys understand that if we want these functions to be continuous, we want to find the value k, not c, but still the same idea. We want to find where they're going to be continuous when x is going to equal 3. And again, we want not only the x's to be the same, which would be 3, but we want the y values to be the same. So we're going to set them equal to each other. x minus 3 squared plus 1 is equal to 2 thirds x squared plus k. And we want to determine when they're equal at x equals 3. I'm not sure why I have so much other talking going on. but um, So now we have x equals 3. You're going to replace that in for x and then solve for k. So now we have an equation. It's kind of like algebra 1 again, guys. 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 squared is 0. Plus 1 is 1. 3 times 2 thirds is going to equal a 4. I'm sorry. 3 times 2 thirds is going to equal 2. 2 squared is equal to 4 plus k. Subtract 3, subtract 3. Subtract 4. I'm like, brain is going an extra step. Subtract 4, negative 3 is equal to k. So the value of k that makes these two functions continuous is negative 3. Okay? And if you want to, go ahead. Graph, graph these two functions at, um, graph the two function with k equal negative 3. And what you'll see is when x equals negative 3, or I'm sorry, when x equals 3, they cross. That's where they intersect. Okay? Yes? How do you know what this x equals 0? What do you want?